Today, we're going along on a little bit of a productivity journey together. I want to take you along on another productive work day in my life, but I thought it was important to start where I usually start with any productive day, which is the evening before. If I can clean and tidy my environment the night before I want to have a really productive day, it gives me the right mindset not only to go to bed with, but also to wake up with and start that day knowing that there's no little niggling bits in the back of my head. I think that those little tiny tasks can be the biggest enemy of productivity. For me, knowing that I've done all of those things the night before just means that it's freeing up that space in my brain for when I wake up to focus on those bigger tasks, knowing that there's not a load of little tasks to get through first. Not only does this help with my productivity, but I also think that it helps me slow down for the evening and kind of have a little mini evening reset each night. So whilst this is a productive day in my life, working as a freelancer, working with brands, creating content, all of that is starting the night before. This morning I woke up feeling fresh, feeling ready for my day and feeling optimistic about everything I wanted to get done. I start off every day now by taking my vitamins. I get these from a website called My Vitamins. I think they're really great and I do have a referral code that I'll leave linked down below if you're interested. On Wednesdays, I don't work my usual nine till five job. I work freelance. So I have the luxury of being able to start my day a little slower, which I personally really enjoy. So I usually take about 15 to 20 minutes for myself whilst I have breakfast, watching a YouTube video or doing some reading before I start my big tasks. Today is an especially productive day because it's the first day of Vlogmas. So hi, welcome to my first of 12 Vlogmas videos. I'd like to take a moment to introduce the sponsor for today's video, Smart Planner. Smart Planner have sent me their Weekly Planner Pro undated and I've been using it for a few weeks now. This is such a brilliant way to maximize my productivity and fit more into my day. I love that I can plan my day out in hours. I did have a diary that did this before, but it didn't actually start until 8 a.m. and my days can often start at around 6 a.m. Whereas with my Smart Planner, I can plan from 6 a.m. until 10 p.m., which is perfect because this is pretty much the earliest and the latest I'll ever start and finish my work day. I love that my smart planner allows me to plan out my top three priorities for each day, say one thing I'm grateful for, and map out my to-dos for the week as a whole. There's also an option to review your week, your victories, and your things to improve. I really love using this, and honestly, since I have had my smart planner pro, I have felt more productive and more able to face my week. I love the fact that there's little stickers included to help you map out your week as well. There's a notes page, and there's also a monthly calendar. This literally has everything you need to feel more productive, and it's perfect for the gifting season. You can get 10% off using my code BETH10. I'll leave a link in the description. Thank you so much, Smart Planner, for sponsoring this video. Good morning. Is it still morning? Can I say morning? I can say morning for another 32 minutes. Hi. I woke up at half eight this morning, which I tend to let myself just wake up on my natural body clock when I'm not working my nine to five job because it tends to be around 8.30, 7.30 between those two times anyway. So I woke up at half eight, I got up, I started filming as you'll have seen, and when I'm filming my day, it obviously does take me longer to get going with things because I'm also setting up the camera. But I did intend to go to town this morning and get breakfast. I only had an apple for breakfast. I was gonna go sit in a cafe and do some work. Haven't really got around to that yet. I will do it. It's just probably more gonna be lunch than it is gonna be breakfast, but that is the plan. I have several things that I need to do today but I'm gonna take you along with me on each of them and just take you through what my day looks like. I have quite a few different brand things I'm working on at the moment, so I thought it would be a fun way to be able to talk to you about how I work with brands and how that's kind of changed for me over the years as well. So right now I am editing <laughs> cover to cover Episode 10, what is that noise? Every Wednesday they are doing some kind of gardening thing out there. Well, I'm just gonna talk over the top of that. <laughs> Anyway, I'm editing cover to cover episode 10. I'm so sad that cover to cover is coming to a close. It's been such a fun series, but this was such an episode to go out on. So at the moment I have edited all of it. I just need to do a proof watch. So I proof watch 
every video before it goes live. Honestly, it's my least favourite part of the editing because by the time it comes to the proof watch, I've already watched the video in segments so many times <laughs> that I kind of get sick of my own voice. But obviously I want to check that everything fits well, everything works how it is and there's no little mistakes that I've missed. So I'm going to be doing that at some point today because I need to send it away to National Book Tokens. National Book Tokens sponsor this series. I send them every video just to look over before it goes live as an unlisted link on YouTube and then I schedule it and everyone gets to watch it. One thing I'm not really great at <laughs> with these videos is estimating how long it's going to take me to read a book so for every episode of this series I buy a book or I buy more than one book but I buy at least one book in the bookshop that I visit and I read that book within the video and then I review the book so I always forget how long it's going to take me to read the book so I filmed this last Wednesday it's now the following Wednesday from when I filmed it and the video needs to be live on Saturday and I need to give National Book Tokens obviously enough time to approve it. I would usually have liked to give them way more than two and a half days but I am I'm filming so many vlogs at the moment that I kind of just yeah I didn't really take that into consideration so I probably should have filmed it a week earlier than I did but that's what happens sometimes. Oh my god this noise is so loud. Can we go in a different room? Hang on. I don't think that's gonna be any better but we're in my kitchen now which is as far from that end as we can get. It's every Wednesday, every Wednesday there is something. Last week there was scaffolding going up. It normally is some form of gardening. Anyway, so cover to cover, that needs doing. I also think I'm going to try and film Fictionary today. I have a sponsor for Fictionary and it's so pretty. It's this beautiful bookmark. I'm not going to spoil too much in case you want to go watch the video, but it's honestly so beautiful. So I'm going to be talking about that in Fictionary. If that's still going on, the noise, I am not going to be filming Fictionary because I need it to be quiet to do that. But that's the plan, hopefully. I need to do as well a couple of other brand bits. So you'll have seen the sponsor of today's video is Smart Planner, which I'm obviously so excited about. I'm also making an Instagram reel for Smart Planner, so I need to sort that out as well. And I need to work on a couple of bits of planning for future videos I have coming up because this is obviously day one of Vlogmas. There is so much more Vlogmas to come and I'm planning it all out. So that's kind of everything content wise today. I will talk to you a little bit more about brands and working with brands and stuff later, but I just, that noise is slowly killing me inside. <laughs> I also need to do some paper and word bits today because we're working on some really exciting stuff at the moment. I am just, I'm so buzzed for it. And there's a really big project that I'm working on right now and I want to be able to have it all signed off as soon as I can. So I'm also going to do some bits for that. So I think what I'm going to do is go into town get away from that noise, go sit in a cafe, do the paper and word bits so I know they're done, then come back and finish off all the filming bits. I think that that's probably going to work best. I am also finishing off a couple of videos at the moment too. I just finished off one this morning which was cover to cover. I needed to finish filming that but I also am doing another vlog that will be out in a couple of weeks time and I have two books that I need to finish reading for that so I need to just kind of get on with all of those things as well. I did do a video like this a couple of weeks ago and I really enjoyed filming that and I feel like that was almost like a practice for this video. So hopefully you're gonna enjoy this one if you enjoyed that one. If you haven't watched that one, go check it out. Let's have a productive day and hope that that noise stops. <laughs> I'm back from town, it is 3.04 and I am losing light very quickly and I need to film Fictionary, so I need to do that ASAP. I was in town much longer than I thought I was gonna be because I ended up starting my Christmas shopping. <laughs> because I haven't done that yet and I, I knew that I wanted to get ahead of myself with it so I thought I might as well start that today apparently. I also managed to film my reel for Smart Planner which I'm really pleased with. A great example of how things don't always go to plan because what I was planning on doing for that content was something here where I was having like a productive morning and filming that for the reel but obviously I was doing that as well on camera for this vlog and I was just struggling to get both and do it well with both. 
and I kind of thought right I'm just gonna focus on the vlog and then do something else for the reel so I ended up going into a cafe and having like a work with me in a cafe type of reel instead that I'm really pleased with so I'm gonna finish the edit on that send it off to the brand and hopefully that's all good and then that'll go live next week I don't actually schedule any of my Instagram content I schedule all of my YouTube stuff but I just like to post natively on Instagram I don't like to schedule it through another platform I there's no particular reason I just enjoy doing that and being there on the platform when it goes live so that is what I do with any branded content I post it natively but I just make sure I set myself lots of reminders to be able to post it uh, because I don't want to miss it some brands don't have specific days they want me to post some might have like a range of dates in between two dates that they want me to post and some might have one specific day so obviously it depends on whether I'm weaving into a brand schedule or my own but I always make sure that I have a plan I use Planly to plan out my grid on Instagram so I can see how it's going to look and that is where I store the post and the caption unless it's a reel obviously then it's in the draft section on Instagram so I use either one of those depending on whether it's a reel or a feed post. So right now, yeah, Fictionary is the priority. I don't know where to film Fictionary anymore <laughs> because filming it where I am in the lounge is good for space and the practicality of having the board near me, but it doesn't really work well for me with camera setup and lighting. And given that it's very dark now, it definitely doesn't work well, but I need to be able to be stood up because it's quite like a fast paced game where I'm running around. So I don't really know where to film it. I could film it in here somewhere, but it, the lighting is working against me. So I don't know why I'm stood chatting because I'm, the more I chat, the less the lighting is going to be here. Everything else I need to do, I don't need natural light for it. So we're gonna see how we go. I do have studio lights, so like I've got a ring light and then I've got a separate light, but I just, I don't really like using them too much. I feel like they never come out exactly how I want unless it's to add a color effect. So I try and use natural lighting where I can. These lights in here, these ones here, those are the best ones. Those are what I use when I do any streaming or when I'm sat at my desk. Those are really good, but they stay in here. So it makes it a bit tricky if I'm ever filming in a different room. See, this is what we're dealing with. I'm just walking around my glass of water. <laughs> it's like a prop. This is what we're dealing with in here. It's not like dark, dark yet, but it's, I mean, can you tell? It's just a really cloudy overcast day at the moment and it's just not the best for filming. I actually, I have a reading update for you. Hang on. Well, I've just decided a reading update. I'll, I'll give this to you now. I'm ruining my own lighting for myself now because I can't stop talking. <laughs> so I think I'm going to read Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross next. I don't actually have anything I have to be reading other than two books for one vlog that I'm very much in the flow with so I don't think they're going to take me too long to finish. And I've heard so many good things about this and I was chatting to my local bookseller today and they said they really enjoyed it and I thought, you know what, why not just read it now? See, this is what I mean about the lighting, it's getting darker and darker. So I'm going to pick this up, which I'm quite excited about. Also, I realised I said to you I was going to do 12 Vlogmas videos and didn't really explain the format and I just kind of took for granted that you might have seen the promo I put out before saying I was doing Vlogmas, but basically Vlogmas is usually vlogging every day in December in the build up to Christmas, but I am doing vlogging every other day and I'm just kind of doing videos. They won't all be vlog style. Some of them might be recommendations, some of them might be like a wrap up or other things, but I'm basically just going to be releasing a video every other day in the build up to Christmas Eve and Christmas, which will be 12 videos by the end of it. So that's what Vlogmas is looking like for me. And this, this is what I'm reading. Those are my updates. And now I'm going to get back to finding where I'm going to film Fictionary. <laughs> Maybe here? I mean, it's not great, but it's okay. I've got this little light that I currently have on like a purple glow that is kind of working with my Hugo light thing there to give a little bit of of backing lighting i do enjoy a bit of lighting i i it's, it's something that i always strayed away from at uni i did film production at uni and i really enjoyed the editing and the camera but i did not like the sound and the lighting and now i wish i did pay more attention especially to the lighting because i find it really fun to have fun lighting behind me so anyway this is really cool it's magnetic does it clip to my tripod no because my tripod isn't magnetic but it's cool and it's portable so it's good for this kind of thing so I think maybe here I might just have to accept that I'm going to be losing light very quickly but I'm just finding a little Christmassy ASMR room to have on in the background not that you can see it in the background but you know it's still it's nice to have there we go I still need to put my Christmas tree up here but I I don't know where to put the plants they're a lot bigger well this one mainly Mary Shelley my monstera is a lot bigger than last year so that's a problem for the Beth at the weekend. <laughs> I filmed Fictionary, I did it. I had a sponsor for that video as well. And it's one that's really tricky to film because the item is so beautifully delicate that any space in my home 
is making it not stand out enough. So I filmed myself chatting about the item and saying what needed to be said about it. But what I'm also gonna do, I think probably tomorrow, because I think I'm gonna need natural light for this, is just get a couple of closer up shots with a different camera lens to be able to really showcase the detail in the item because I don't want that to be lost by me just holding it up in front of the camera here. The thing I struggle the most when doing sponsored segments to my videos is remembering what I meant to say. <laughs> different brands will give different levels of information and different ways of giving me that information. Some will give me like a lot of talking points, others won't give me many talking points at all. So it's just making it work in the way that I want the content to come across. I like it best when I don't have anything much I have to memorize because my short-term memory for that kind of thing isn't great. And it's often something that I have to repeat quite a few times to be able to get it right or use a voiceover, which is fine because then I can just read from something I've previously written. So it's for me, it's trying to remember everything I need to say and making sure that I've got it all right and giving you all the information you need and hopefully done the best job for that brand as well. I actually find that quite a stressful process to get that right because I always want it to come across as genuinely as I mean it. I only ever pick brands to work with that I feel passionate about and think you guys would enjoy to see. So I always want that to come across in the right way. And that's where I always stress out that I've got to get it spot on. So I think what I'm going to do is yeah, get some more shots of this separately to be able to layer over the top of me talking about it. I feel like that's going to work best. If you're ever wondering how I work with brands as well, it's honestly changed a lot over the last few years. I would say it started off being a lot more frequent for Instagram. I used to work with a lot Lot, a lot of brands on Instagram every month, like way, way more than I do now when I had like half the following that I do now on Instagram. That started to die down once TikTok popped up. And I have always felt really sad about that because there are still so many creators getting good engagement and creating strong content on Instagram as well as they're on TikTok. And it feels like brands are forgetting that Instagram is still there and does still work really well because we are still there with genuine voices to be able to talk about different brands and different products and services. And I do still work with brands on Instagram for sure, but it definitely slows down until this time of year. This time of year, I work with a lot more brands than I do at any other point, but honestly, I've certainly noticed a difference. I actually, last year, early last year, I signed up to work with an agency who were gonna be management for me and be able to help me find partnerships to work with. I was really excited about that because they would be bridging the gap for me of the communication and sorting out my emails and things. And I just thought that was gonna work really well. Unfortunately, it didn't work out too well and I just didn't really get too much through from them. So I decided to step back from that and take back the management myself. It's definitely a route I would go down again in the future, I think, but I would just approach it in a slightly different way. So that was a really interesting experience to see how that would work. And I'm glad I did do that to see that, but I am back to sorting it all out myself now. So very much for me, it is kind of things that land in my inbox relationships I've curated in the past with brands I've worked with for years. Those are kind of the two ways I get things. And then if there's something I'm specifically interested in, I will try and approach a brand myself. But honestly, most of the time, it's stuff that's coming to me from somebody I already have a relationship with or somebody that's found my content and has contacted me to ask if I would consider working with them. I will say as well that some of the time it's not something that comes with a budget initially attached to it. And I do go back with my media kit, with my packages that I offer and say, what it is that I charge for certain packages. And that is then when the conversation can come into it about having a budget behind it. I think sometimes it's initially something that is offered more on a PR product basis. And I do work with those promotions as well, but most of the ones you'll see, or in fact, any of the ones you see that are sponsored content in a YouTube video is usually something that's worked with a budget. So that's just kind of a little insight into it. It definitely changes a lot and has changed a lot in recent years. I am sad that it doesn't work the same way on Instagram any more than it used to, because I know that I can offer a lot to brands on Instagram. It's a platform that I have been growing for a long time now and I've just hit 60,000 followers on Instagram, which is really exciting. So I know that there's a lot I could do there because my engagement is really strong. I feel like I am good at creating strong content on Instagram. And it feels weird to say that, to praise myself for it, but I think that is something that I am good at doing. And I'd like to be able to utilize that with brands, but I know that a lot of brands are leaning towards TikTok. I'm intrigued to see if it ever kind of flits back again, but at the moment, most of my sponsored work and ad work is through YouTube, which I didn't expect to be the case, given that my Instagram following is much larger than my YouTube subscribers. So it's interesting. I went from working with brands being a huge source of my income 
to being a very low <laughs> source of my income and that was quite difficult to adjust to and that caused me quite a few issues last year into this year that I'm kind of just about crawling out the other end of from it now because I'd kind of moved out with the basis of knowing I was working with the brands really regularly for like a year and a half before moving out and it's really hard when you rely on this kind of an income because you just don't know what's going to happen to it and I always knew that and seeing it drop the way it did I never expected that to happen I never expected it to drop that quickly but that shows the fragility of working in social media like this it's never going to be consistent and it's another reason I'm so so thankful for my patrons because that is something that has been a lot more consistent obviously it's still something you can't guarantee but my patron community has grown and grown and grown recently and I'm so thankful for it and it's definitely changed the way I have been able to do things and definitely allowed me to see my life heading in a slightly different direction which is really exciting. Obviously working with Paper and Word freelance has also helped that massively and has been a huge huge change for me over like the last year. I've been working for them for a year and like two months now I think and it has been so much fun and so great and I love it so much and that is when I drop down to part-time in my day job. So it's all changed a lot. It's interesting to see how it's changed. It's definitely a fragile environment being a content creator if it is something you are financially dependent on. Anyway, there's a bit of honesty for you. That's what's happening with it. I'm gonna go check out the footage for Fictionary now and see how it's looking because I always like to do that when I film something just to check it's okay before I pack everything up. Although saying that I don't really know what more I can do because I think the lighting looks okay on camera now but it is, it's very, very dark. So I'm hoping that it's coming out okay. <laughs> Despite my mass organization today, I forgot that I have a call at 4.30 and it's currently 4.00. 18 so I have a call in 12 minutes with Trover Trip. I am currently planning a trip to Bali with Trover Trip but I, I'm gonna update you once I've had the call so I actually have something to update you on but I'm basically looking at whether that is currently the best option or not because it hasn't been as well received as I'd have hoped and I think maybe I've kind of missed the mark there a little bit so I'm gonna be having a call with Trover Trip shortly about that and then I will let you know if anything exciting is happening. <laughs> okay that is my meeting done <laughs> sorry my camera strap I've got a little Santa hat and my camera strap just magnetically attached to it hang on shall I wear it it's cute it's sparkly I had my meeting with Trover trip and basically it was to discuss my upcoming trip to Bali for 2024 and what I think I've kind of realized is I maybe missed the mark a little bit with that trip and I thought I was creating something that would be really exciting but actually I think I was talking to Jade and we were talking about it and saying that like you know group trips is something people want to do because they wouldn't do it on their own and they want to experience it as a group and the Bali trip was very much a kind of chilled paradise relaxed break and maybe that isn't something that people necessarily felt like they wanted to come and do on a group trip so I feel like I missed the mark a little bit and I was chatting with Trover Trip about what the options were for that and how to kind of go about making sure that I was doing the best for everybody that wanted to get involved. So basically what we have decided to do is I am going to cancel the Bali trip, which makes me really sad to say, but at the same time, I think it's the right thing to do. And I'm going to work with them on another trip somewhere else. So I'm going to be taking survey answers again to ask people where they want to go. I will try and remember to leave a link to that in this video if you want to see and let me know where you want to go if you want to come along. It's really fun group trip experiences that Trover Trip offer but obviously I am picking where that should be based on survey results and I just think yeah I think I missed the mark so we're gonna go for something different and I'm hopefully gonna do something that suits more people and makes more people excited. I'm so sad to be cancelling and obviously people that have signed up will be getting refunds and I'll be personally emailing them before anything is said like obviously this video will be live way after this has actually all happened but I think this is going to be for the best so I'm excited to see what is going to be planned and if you want to find out please do visit the link below. Right now I am editing though I'm sat at my desk I have just edited Fictionary and now I need to send off cover to cover to National Book Tokens. I have got a pizza in the oven I've got my comfy trousers on and I'm going to go do a little bit more editing whilst this is cooking.
this is my current setup. I have book, hot water bottle, blanket. I am ready for a cozy evening of reading. Sorry, this is a bit of a, a jaunty angle. Hi, I have had dinner. I have finished Books Nest work, apart from filming this video for the day. And I finished paper and word work for the day. I haven't really shown you too much of the paper and word stuff, but that is because what I'm working on, I don't want to be including that in a vlog at the moment. So keep an eye on the paper and word socials to find out what that is, because it's very exciting and I'm, I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. So I've been doing bits for that throughout the day, but I did a big chunk of paper and word work earlier in the week so that I didn't have quite as much to work on this evening, because I tend to work, like I finished my day job at 4.30, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and then I work on paper and word stuff. Sometimes till around like 6.37, sometimes it might be earlier than that. I might do more work in the morning before I start work. It varies from day to day. And that is the beauty of working freelance. But I did more earlier in the week, so I didn't have as much to do today for paper and word. I did lots of books and stuff today though. I have filmed and edited Fictionary. I have finished filming cover to cover, edited that and finally sent it away to National Book Tokens. Took way longer than I thought because the file size was massive and it just pretty much ate up all of my internet for the last like two to three hours. So that's finally sent away as well. I've also filmed three different brand collaborations today. I have been editing this video as I've been filming it, which is my preferred way of working if I can, just so I can check that everything has come out the way I expected it to and see if there's anything I need to refilm. And I started my Christmas shopping. So I think it's been pretty productive. Is that everything I've done? I think that's everything I've done. So I think I deserve a nice evening sat down reading. I really hope that I'm gonna enjoy this. So many people have told me they think I will. So hopefully I do because it's got high hope, high hopes, high expectations, high, the bar is set high. So let's find out. Okay, current thoughts on this book. It's cute. I don't often go for romances and this is a fantasy romance. I think it's like enemies to lovers, slow burn thing. The burn is burning slowly. I'm like 50 pages in, I'm gonna go read it in bed now, but I am enjoying it. It's got good setup for an intriguing plot. I like the fact that there's journalist, war, god magic element to it. That's a great description. I haven't even told you what it's about. Honestly, I can't even remember. I didn't read the blurb before picking it up. I read the blurb when I got it, but haven't read the blurb for it today. Good sentence structure, <laughs> but I just wanted to go into it surprised. Also, if you're wondering about the edition, because it's really pretty, this is the Fairyloo edition. It's absolutely stunning. I'm gonna go read in bed now, so I will say goodbye here, but thank you so much for coming to Vlogmas Day 1. There is going to be a video every other day in the build-up to Christmas Eve, so I'm really excited. Or well, the build-up to Christmas, like the last video is on Christmas Eve. There's 12 videos, they're every other day. This is the first one. If you would like to see more, please do subscribe and hit the little bell icon to be notified when they are posted. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to my patrons for your constant support. I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.